What's up, Libra? We're going to be doing your May 4th through 10th weekly reading. I'm going to start you guys off with a past, present, future spread with Cosmic Tarot, Clarifiers, or Crystal Visions Tarot. All the tarot decks I use are going to be linked down in the description box down below, along with all my social platforms and my website so you guys can book your personal reading. Guys, please be mindful. We're going through Pluto retrograde. These readings have been heavy this week, okay? Especially today for some reason. Um, Earth and air signs, you guys are getting smacked. Um... So don't be shocked if people from your past are coming back. You know, roll with the punches. Try to go with the flow. The more you resist, the more difficult it's going to be to close out the cycle. But that's the point of retrogrades. Brings up old loose ends that need some tying up so we can deal with it. Clear them out and make room for the new to come in, right? So welcome in the new. Release the old. It's going to be a little heavy. So let's get into it. Libra. <clears throat> Oh, and surprise, surprise, May personal readings. If you want to book a personal reading, they are 50% off for YouTube subscribers. So subscribe to the channel, comment below, hashtag 50, and you can get a personal reading with me 50% off. Okay, let's get into it, Libras. Let's see what's going on with you. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, show me what I need to see for my Libras. Tell me what I need to see for my Libras for May 4th through the 10th, please. Holy Spirit, angels and angels, show me what I need to see for Libra May 4th through the 10th. Ooh, Emperor wanted to come out. Libra, 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 Libra. Okay. Show me what I need to see for my Libras for May 4th through the 10th. Past, present, future, past, present, future, past, present, future. Holy shit, Libra. <laughs> One, two, three, four major arcana. Two horrible cards. It's gonna be a good reading though. Seven of Pentacles, okay? Um, I feel like this is through tough times, honestly feels like you're planting your seeds. It's, this is an energy, I really want to say betrayal. Um, I don't know why. It's not typically an energy I would get for the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles is typically about planting seeds, waiting for them to grow, you know, getting impatient. Like, why is everything I've planted not growing the way I wanted it to? This almost feels like a past energy. Might have invested into a connection. Yeah, invested into a connection that didn't turn out the way you thought it was going to be. Because your recent past, we get the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Hierophant in reverse. Talk about painful, painful endings. Talk about heartbreak. Talk about depression. Talk about a total detachment from spirituality, from source, from faith. Just a very, very dark time. Libra, in the recent past, this, some of you recent past is like within the last year, honestly. Um, sorry, I keep gr grabbing for the clarifiers. I just want to get right into it. Then current situation, justice, four of swords, king of cups, finding balance, healing, going and just rejuvenating, taking time out for yourself. Fours are about stability. And then you got all this love coming your way. King of cups, love and balance could be dealing with another Libra. Also cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here with the king of cups, four of swords, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then immediate future, we have the lovers in reverse, the hangman in reverse, and the two of pentacles in reverse. Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Lovers in reverse could be a connection that fell apart. It could be an imbalance in the current connection. It could be a connection from the past. We're gonna have to do clarifiers to find out because I'm getting a few different things with the lovers in reverse, but this is also your immediate future. Um, the hangman, this is coming out of enlightenment. This is coming out of limbo, coming out of your time out, out of your healing. It's right underneath the four of swords too. I typically say this would be a resistance, but it feels like a coming out. And then two of pentacles, no longer juggling, taking things off your plate. Okay. I'll show you the lover's card too. Sorry if I didn't show you guys that. Beautiful deck, Cosmic Tarot. Very nice. Let's get into Crystal Visions, which is probably my new favorite deck. <sighs> and let me know if you guys like this setup or when I'm at the other table better. This one has more light, so leave your preference in the comments below just so I know because whatever makes you guys happier works for me. 
Okay, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for my Libras. Spirit, please clarify the spread before me for my Libras for May 4th through the 10th. Please clarify the spread in front of me for my Libras for May 4th through the 10th, past, present, and future. Clarify the spread in front of me. Oh, yeah. Heart chakra. Everybody with this damn heart chakra. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for my Libras. Heart chakra. Five of Cups. The disappointment disappointment that it didn't turn out how you want it to the disappointment you put all this effort into a connection that didn't play out this is that it's just straight disappointment straight disappointment straight heartbreak pain defeat defeat such defeat that just screams defeat so painful this past <sighs> so painful guys Wow. Three of Swords with the Ten of Cups. So much love, so much heartbreak. And after it, Ten of Swords. Holy shit, guys. This was not easy. This was not easy. This was painful. This was a true, very strong connection. Such instability, such a loss of self with the Queen of Pentacles here. This feminine energy, so ungrounded, so just out out of whack, just not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, not knowing how to build things, not knowing how to be connected anymore, whether it be to source, to earth, to self, such a disconnect. Such a lack mentality too, a very lack mentality. Ten of Swords, which is understandable. There's so much pain, so much loss here. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the recent past. I can't get over the sun in the background. This Leo energy lately is screaming at me. The sun in the background, it's kind of like, it was supposed to be happy and then heartbreak, pain, drama, so much pain. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for Libra spirit. Why is Ten of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Libra? Two of Swords, the stalemate, the crossroads, the feeling stuck, not knowing what to do, not seeing things as they truly are. Look at the blindfold. More Libra energy. Gemini Aquarius as well. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. You have Strength in the King of Wands. More Leo energy. King of Wands, more Leo energy. Aries Sag as well. I just heard Coward. You might have seen this person as a coward, not strong enough to fight for this with you. Unrequited. Unrequited. Unre yeah, they just keep saying unrequited. You gave and gave and gave and gave and this person wasn't fighting for it the same way you were and you felt stuck. So about the Hierophant. What's this? This Hierophant, it's almost like not seeing it. Not seeing it for what it is. The sight, the hierophants, the teacher, it's spirituality, it's source, it's enlightenment, it's contracts, it's marriage, it's long-term commitments, right? It's a mentor, it's someone you learn from. In particular to this reading, this is a not seeing, not being connected to source. It's a screaming spiritual, 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 not connected to source. There is a major disconnect here. There is, and you didn't, you were not aware of it because you're so disconnected. You didn't see it. You didn't see this connection for what it was. The magician more major arcana huh <sighs> the moon more major arcana the queen of wands with the king of wands there's the true pair there's the ten of cups true pair king queen of wands here libra this was a true pair but it was a toxic true pair in the shadow you're both in shadow energy both in the worst version of yourself the universe orchestrated this with the magician and you see that, you see that now, the moon, the secrets, the illusions, you see it for what it is now. Back then you did not, you did not. Yeah, because healing had to take place. You had to get out of the four of cups energy. You had to find your passion again. You had lost it. You were, you were so lost and so disconnected. The ace of wands in reverse, four of cups and the hermit, this healing needed to occur. The universe stepped in and, and created this traumatic experience because you were such in shadow energy they're like no you're not healing you're not finding enlightenment the the hierophant i'm 
And the hermit? <laughs> Spirituality up the ass. The hermit is about finding enlightenment. It's about going within. It's about attaching to the higher power, connecting with the higher power, looking at yourself, all sides of yourself, the good, the bad, the light, the dark, the ego, the pride, all of it, and accepting it for what it is and doing the work and the healing that needs to be done. Okay? And you have the Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This just tells me that spirits like you sitting in this very... Uh, depressed energy was delaying your new beginning it wasn't it wasn't taking any movement forward here so your current situation looks freaking fabulous that we got justice the resting the healing and the king of cups lots of love so let's check it out not yet spirit show me what i need to see about justice for my libras this could be you libra the justice card or it could be you're dealing with another libra this person's gonna come in from your past they're going to make an offer of love. Knight of Cups. Because they want to restore balance with you. They don't want to fight. They don't want the conflict. It's going to cause a little bit of competition. They could also be coming in because they know you have a new partner. And they're willing to compete for you with this offer of love. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands on top of Justice Spirit? Why is the Five of Wands on top of Justice Of course, the unknown card, more spiritual, more spiritual aspects. This is unique to this deck. It's, where's the Hierophant card? I don't know why, I don't know if in this, there's a crow in this, but they have me looking at the crow and are there any birds in this? The white bird in the background. This is all about enlightenment. Libra, I think this is a test. I think this person's coming back as a test. I really do. I'll try and clarify the unknown card, but I was asking about this competition, this five of wands on top of justice. Why are they fighting for you? Or why is this conflict coming up? And I really think it's this is a lesson, which is why they're not telling me the answer why the unknown card came out on top of it. So why is the unknown card here for Libra? Why is the unknown card here for Libra? Ten of wands to end the cycle. To close out this cycle with this person. The cycle's not over yet and you need to close it out. How? Different for every situation. So about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Some of you are getting mad. You're not getting all the answers. Guys, this is a general reading. Like, if I can't tell you how, it's because there's how many of you watching this video, right? The Ten of Wands is just telling me that there's resistance to ending the cycle, but that's what Pluto Retrograde's about. It's going to bring up the past to deal with it, to tie up loose ends. So if you think you're over this person, clearly not if they're coming back energetically or if they're coming back actually in the physical manner, okay? And you have to deal with it. You have to talk to them, discuss this, talk about the past, the pain, the hurt, the effort that was put in, that wasn't put in, what you liked about yourself, what you didn't, what you liked about them, what you didn't, right? Accepting all sides of it, owning your seat. Speaking your truth. Speaking your truth. I just want to keep saying that. Four of Swords. Clarified by the Four of Wands in Reverse and the Seven of Wands in Reverse. This is happening for this healing. The Four of Swords. Because this connection wasn't the long-term commitment that you were hoping for. It could have been, but it wasn't. And didn't turn out the way you anticipated. It was not stable. And you're finally putting your guard down to confront this and heal. This is good, Libra. This is good. Talking about the King of Cups. Who's King of Cups? Page of Cups in reverse. I feel like this King of Cups is somebody else who's just watching you. It could be a new person that you're already with. Some of you, it could be somebody that's just watching you from afar, but they're just observing you. It could be your past person looking at you all closed off to them. Tell me more about the King of Cups. That was quick. Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Three of Swords. Some of you, it's your past person. They're looking at you. They're thinking about the past with you. They're thinking about the heartbreak. They're thinking about what happened between you two. Because here's the Hierophant right underneath the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant upright. Full circle. I'm hearing full. Okay. It's the, this is the. How do I explain this? This is the divine coming in full circle. This was the trigger. This is the end. 
This is the Hierophant in reverse. This is the Hierophant upright. This is the spiritual awakening. Gosh, everybody's getting this. Everybody is getting this. All the zodiac signs, you guys are getting the same messages, every single one of you. The Hierophant, the Hierophant, the Hierophant, spiritual, spiritual, spiritual. It's a very, I just heard peak. Like this is, thank you. This is the peak. Yeah, it makes sense. May, spring, rebirth, gotcha. Um, some of you, this is coming around just to close out the cycle. This masculine energy still has a lot of love, but it's a, it's a time of acceptance and release of what is and healing for both of you. It's not going to be difficult. I don't feel a lot of struggle around this. For those of you who are really hurt by this person, I think you actually accepted a lot of it. I don't feel any anger or resentment toward them. I just, I honestly feel a little bit of fear. I feel, um, some of you just want it to go away. You just want it to be done. You know this new stuff is coming and you're like, gosh, do I really got to deal with this shit right now? You do. You do. Because this is clearing out energetically what's taking up space that doesn't need to be there. Let's talk about the lovers, Gemini energy, and the immediate future. Yep, lovers, two of cups. The release of the soulmate connection. Accepting. Accepting it's done. This is the past person. If you have a new person, it's not them. Whoever did all this pain in the past, this is the release of the past person. Some of you are worried about losing who you're with now. That's not what's happening. This is just closure on a very painful time from your past. Some of you, like I said, up to a year ago, tell me about the Two of Cups. What do we got here? Yeah, you both are accepting the end of this connection because you have clarity now about the situation. You've been talking, you've been communicating. Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, a lot of communication. A lot of communication between you and this past person to restore balance, to find clarity. Seven of Cups. In regards to the connection that fell apart, lovers and two of cups in reverse. Again, Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands. A lot of communication in order to find clarity about how the connection fell apart because you both recognize there's a very strong soul tie. You know you're spiritually drawn together. Guys, these Hierophants. This is insane. You got the Hierophant in both decks. That's the very spiritual very spiritual connection, soul tied, but not romantically. That's That wasn't the purpose of this connection. The purpose of this connection was to elevate, was to help you both evolve into better versions of yourself. It tore you down to rebuild. This wasn't meant to be romantic. There was a lot of love on the soul connection level. It wasn't, I don't feel that this was, that, that was not supposed to be your person. That wasn't your twin flame. It's not your counterpart. That was your trigger. Just full circle. I just keep hearing full circle. It's just closing out a cycle, literally. Tell me about the hangman. And the hangman is just you coming out of limbo. It's being done with this. You've been in limbo for so long. You've been held back from this beginning for so long. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Um, why do I want to take this back? I really want to put this back and I typically do not do that. I really want to put it back. It just doesn't fit. We'll see. Gosh, I can't, I just can't. I want to, I want to really bad. Why is it 10 of pentacles in reverse? Eight of pentacles in reverse. Ten of pentacles, eight of pentacles in reverse. Let's talk about instability and not putting work into something. Some of you were stuck in limbo for so long or are resisting releasing control of the situation. So that's what it is. Some of you are resisting giving this up to the divine. Some of you are resisting this person coming back. You're not accepting of them returning because you don't want to put work back into this because it wasn't stable. And that causes a lot of fear. Like I said, I was feeling a lot of fear and that's where it comes in. Some of you are trying to control the situation. You're not welcoming this person back in, right? You're not chilling out. This is full surrender. This is full surrender. This is letting go. This is, nope, I can't surrender. I'm going to try and control the situation because it was too unstable and I don't want to put the work into it and I don't want to talk to this person. Tell me more about the hangman. Why is this unstable? What do we get? 
because you're emotionally closed off to this soulmate connection. Then you have the Six of Wands, which is victory. Some of you still secretly want a connection like this. But you're emotionally shut off because this was unstable. But in a sense, you crave it. But you crave it because the type of connection it was. It was a strong soulmate connection. And in a strange way, it felt good. Even though it was toxic because it was so intense. But you're emotionally closed off to it. And that's where the healing has to come in. That's the healing. That's what you need to do. You need to recognize that there's a better version of this coming to you. It's on its way. But you don't see it because you haven't done the healing. You haven't emotionally opened up. Queen of Cups in reverse. You're closed off. Your heart chakra is still hurt from all this, which, which is very logical, which makes sense. Something about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here for my Libras? Why is the Two of Pentacles here for my Libras? Two of Wands. No longer juggling, no longer waiting. I'm not taking all those spirit. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah. You're no longer waiting. You know this person was deceptive. You know this person is deceptive. With the Seven of Swords, you know that they were lying. With Two of Wands, you're done waiting. You're done juggling. You're done with all this chaos. No matter how stable they look. No matter how stable they come in as. King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles can also be a new energy. This could be somebody in. You're no longer waiting. As soon as you stop waiting, somebody new might come in for you. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, no matter how stable they look, you're not going to open up to them. You're just done with them. Libra, you're done with them. It's just too painful. It's too painful. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. King of Cups in reverse. They're emotionally, now they emotionally sh shut down. They were open in the past, but now they shut down because you rejected it. Whew, Libra. But it had to end. Any advice for my Libras? Any final advice in regards to the spread in front of me, Spirit? Any advice for my Libras in regards to the spread in front of me, Spirit? Any advice for my Libras in regards to the spread in front of me? Yep, rest and heal. Rest and heal, Libra. Rest and heal. Four of Swords. That's all this card is rest and heal. I just want to say it over and over. Rest and heal. Focus on yourself. Rest and heal. This is a time for you. And that's why the hangman's coming up. It's saying don't, re don't resist this. Just chill out. Just go with it, right? Libras, I feel this too. I'm a Libra son. It's been heavy. That's for sure. Yep. When you heal, you get your victory. Chariot. But like I said, you feel your victory coming. You feel the Six of Wands coming in. That's the minor to the major. It's the same thing, just a minor arcana to the major arcana. It's coming in. The universe is saying it's on the way, but it's only going to come when you take the time to heal and nurture yourself. <sighs> Libra, that's what I have for you. You guys want a personal reading? They are 50% off this month, so 22 bucks. Um, leave a comment below, hashtag 50, and subscribe to the channel. I was sending loving, healing energy to all my fellow Libras. I love you guys. <sighs> Deep breaths. You will get through this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.